Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> this is Mariam Classic Essentials Plus and I'm Mariam Uzadema. This is a DIY for how you use uh, how to make dish and laundry soap with used vegetable oils okay the oils are used to fry all sorts uh, deep fry shallow fries uh, yam potato okay sorry for that break um, um, the oils the vegetable oils that are used for different fries deep fries um, shallow fries, chips, potato chips, sweet potatoes, beef, chicken, uh, whatever kind of fries, okay, fish, as in all the vegetable oils, you just put them together and uh, I'm trying to basically make soap out of it, okay. Now, this is like partially an experiment and at the same time, it's a DIY trying to tell us that they could still be used for uh, serious lesson they could still be good use as in very beneficial use for used vegetable oils that have been used to fry different things okay now most of the things I'm going to do here are going to be by measurements not by weight unlike the natural handmade soaps that I make and everything is done by weight meaning you're going to use a scale but for this one almost everything let me use that word almost everything is going to be by measurement not by weight that means I'm not going to use a scale I'm just going to use a scale to measure the soda ash but every other thing will be measured um, will be measured by measurements like I'm going to be using I'm going to be using uh, um, cups um, calibrated cups if I put it that way or graduated cups to measure so basically one does not really need um, um, all the um, all the gadgets of soap making to make this you just need a bowl a simple bowl and you need some cups that has graduations like markings 100 mil 200 mil like 50 100 150 you just need all measuring cups okay if you have the measuring cups that they use in making cakes you can basically make this this is very easy to make okay so that is why it's called a DIY to so do it yourself so what i'm basically teaching how to do here is for you to convert your own used vegetable oil your own used frying oil okay the frying oil that you feel that okay i don't need this frying oil anymore it stinks of fish it stinks of chicken it stinks of akara i want to use it to make i want to throw it away but you can gather them like the one i used in this video the one i measured out in this video it's in a five liter jar but it was not even full and i think i've been putting them together for about six months or so i think between five to six months i've been i kept putting them together putting them together until i got that just and that's much so i know by the time i'm done with the soaps that i have made out of it even before i get exhausted with that soap i must have gathered enough again for me to make another batch i even have to make another batch right now but I am I am like um, waiting to see how this one turns out first all right sit back and watch and learn how to make soaps from uh, used vegetable oils thank you Here you see me basically um, measuring out my fragrance. This is lemon fragrance, okay? And it's 25 ml. I decided to use 25 ml, okay? You can decide to use um, how much you want, depending on how fragrance you want the soap to be. But because I am using the soap more for a dishwash, I decided to make it mild. I did not want to make it too uh, shouty. 
I did not want to put a lot of fragrance but I chose lemon fragrance because it's a top it's a top note um, it belongs to the citrusy family so I decided to use it for that particular purpose I've noticed that for the things that I've used it for it normally sticks longer I, I don't know this is citrus fragrance actually evaporate fast but I think I still like the lingering lemony smell and another thing again is lemon has antimicrobial properties so I thought about that before I said okay let me use it too because this is not just going to be a dish soap it's going to be this soap and a laundry soap like for maybe mini laundry washes I'm going to use it for that so I would really really it's part of the reason why I just wanted to use I just want it's a lemon soap a lemon um, fragranced um, dish soap and laundry soap lemon is actually very appealing to the senses I like it okay it's much more appealing than some of these uh, middle notes and base notes in as much as the base notes are the ones that actually stick after the top and the medium has already evaporated out but they still have their links like when i make my other natural handmade soaps especially my herbal black soap and my herbal african black soap i normally use a combination of fragrances i use like three to four fragrances when i'm making them lemon is actually one of what um mix up those fragrances i actually use from my selection i've come to realize that i always use a top note and a base note i don't know that the other selections are actually middle notes okay because i know that top notes are citrusy inclined middle notes are like flower inclined like the rose the lavender you understand then the base notes are actually the patchouli the vanilla the um, uh those those kind of uh, fragrances those type of fragrances that are calm calm that are calm like musk they are so calm but they don't evaporate out fast you still feel them there you still sense them there your senses are still telling you that there's a fragrance here okay so those notes i've noticed that they are best used in perfumes as in like body sprays and um what are they call those ones body splashes and um and um what are those and uh perfume squall something like that mm. so blending in thoroughly the cowling clay here i had to take the oil to just warm it up a little so that the cowling clay can be able to dissolve easily or mix easily with the oils here this is the soda ash that I mixed a few minutes ago and it's clear now, as clear as water. And that is my lye solution. Here now, I'm about to start making the soap. So, I, I am pouring in my sodium hydroxide solution, which is my lye solution. This is a three parts to one, which is three parts water to one part sodium hydroxide solution. So, sorry, a three parts water to one part sodium hydroxide crystals that is melted, or should I say dissolved in the water to form this particular solution that I'm using now. Okay, so what i have here basically is two liters of oil 1.5 liter is used oil which is the frying oil here you see me adding in the soda ash solution 250 ml you saw previously in the video that i made the soda ash solution in the video but i did not make the custard the co sorry the caustic soda solution in the video but i made the soda ash solution in the video that is because i wanted to make the soda ash to be fresh while i'm 
while I want to use it for the soap. Now, the soda ash solution was 83 grams of soda ash, light, dissolved in 250 ml of water. It is one part soda ash powder to three parts water. The same thing with the caustic soda solution. It is one part caustic soda crystals, as in sodium hydroxide crystal, lye crystals to three parts water. So what I added for my lye solution was one liter of lye solution. To get that, I am dissolving 335 grams of lye in 1000 ml of water 335 grams or sorry 333 grams of lye to 1000 ml of water to get that particular batch that i made i just added in my lemon fragrance now lemon fragrance oil now lemon fragrance is a very good fragrance i like it because of the way it lingers in certain things though it does evaporate fast because it's actually a citrusy uh, it's in the class of citrusy fragrances but it still tends to like leave some part of it it's not the type of citrusy one that evaporates out completely like the mango the orange uh, and the others it still tends to linger a bit it's actually a top note It's one of those um fragrance that once you put them they tend to it's supposed to evaporate fast because of its class of notes but all the time i've used it all the times i've used lemon fragrance they still tend to linger a little in the bars that was the reason why i used it but i was just thinking right now that i'm doing this editing that i would have added a little bit of um a little bit of middle notes and base notes uh, fragrances with the lemon to still hold that fragrance in to the bar since it's a fried oil it's a used oil um, um, DIY but notwithstanding I know that by the time the saponification is complete and the soap is good to go I know that as the soap keeps airing to dry it will still air off most almost all the smell of whatever fried deposit that is there i do not have a problem with that because it's just for home use except if there's anybody that is interested i likely going to give some so except for anyone that is interested uh, i may likely give out some bars just to tell the person okay this is what i use my used uh, vegetable oil to do as an instead of me throwing it away i decided to um um convert Here it you to see me something else. molding the soap um this is part of the reason why i like individual molds the reason is because you just pop them out and they just come out and this soap hardens very fast this is less than 24 hours it's just like about i think 16 hours or so it's about between 14 to 16 hours and it's already this hard it's already hard but after i use it to lather up to wash my hands it did not burn but it was drying after i cleaned my hands after i rinsed off my hands and cleaned my hands here i'm checking the smell of the soap to know whether the the smell still lingered of course it was lingering a little so that's what it looks like it looks so beautiful but i like it i like something attractive when i'm washing my dishes so why i decided to do this was because of course you know children and i have um children that wash dishes my teenage daughter just like pours the liquid detergent the liquid uh, um, dishwash like it's water and she just pours it and uses it to, to lather up the whole sink and wash so because i make them does not mean i have to be wasteful so i decided to start um making dish um dish soap bars okay dish soap i think they are more economical to use 
even if they fall on the ground you can pick them up but when a dish liquid uh, spills on the floor <laughs> you can't recoup all of them back but with this one all you have to do is just keep it at a place where it could air dry and i thought about i saw a video once of someone that was recycling used oils for soap so i decided to like make mine into a dish soap and a laundry soap and and i hope this will help even with the measurements i gave is going to help very well for us to diy stuff like this just for us to help to recycle what we already have so that we can be able to use them appropriately and not throw them away okay so everything you see here is one and a half liter of dishwash um one and a half liter of used fried oils and i added half liter of palm kernel oil Yay. to harden up the bars and to improve ladder so you'll notice basically that the ladder was not much by the time i tried to ladder it up by the time i was trying to ladder it up a little it did not really ladder that much because of the time i was doing that um that particular um i was trying that out it was like 14 hours into the soap making so saponification was still ongoing at that time though the lye um, usage the lye um, work has reduced drastically so here i'm counting the cupcakes i have about 18 bars here 18 cupcakes and those ones i cut them into little bar forms and i got like i got i got a decent number i would say so here i'm trying to basically try out a ladder test for the ladder i got here i was impressed i was really really impressed because for the time i made the soap and for the time i was trying to mold it and do this ladder <laughs> test i'm sorry about that it's my little baby <laughs> if you if you follow my videos you'll notice that her voices are always in my <laughs> editing my voiceovers because she's always with me whenever i'm doing this editing most times i said i don't i just can't do without it and she can't do without it either except when she's sleeping and that time me too i'm fucked out so i have to sleep so if you look at it very well you see this is like 12 to 14 to 16 hours after the soap making and i have this ladder okay just from scraps so that's very good ladder okay so here i'm basically trying to wash the molds with the leftover of the soap on the silicone molds okay so i got very decent sized ladder on this so the most important thing i was looking out for was not just the ladder i was looking for the cleanliness on dishes i was trying to look at how clean it will make the dishes how squeaky clean it could come out and i've used it to wash dish i think i used it to the, do a dish wash this morning and it came out nice so i'll say it's good but i'll let you know as time goes on as the, cure, the soap cures further i'll let you all know how everything turned out i'm sure that it will be a very great soap okay so thank you very much for watching this video god bless you all um please like share and subscribe to my channel bye bye